Now, after a humiliating defeat in the second Lok Sabha elections in a row, top Congress leader will meet in Delhi today. A top leadership will, uh, in fact, talk about the reason for the laws and assess them. If the top sources are to be believed, the Congress president is also likely to offer his resignation at the meet. The rest will depend on the mood of the meet. Reports say that there, in fact, their resentments, in the, which is running high among the members in Congress. Top party leaders, including UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi and former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, are expected to attend the meeting. The committee is also expected to discuss the reason for the party's defeat, especially in states like Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, where it had won the assembly elections five months ago. This election, in fact, uh, BJP alone won over 300 seats in the parliament, with NDA either leading or having already won 354 seats, while Congress uh, was just reduced to a two-digit for the second time. The Grand Old Party managed to secure just uh, 52 seats. Congress chief lost his stronghold of Amethi in Uttar Pradesh. Rahul Gandhi lost to BJP candidate uh, Smriti Rani by a margin of over 5, 000, in fact, 55,000 votes. Following the dismal performance in election, Uttar Pradesh Chief uh, Raj Babbar has uh, offered to resign from his post. Babbar, who in fact uh, was contesting from Fatehpur Sikri, was defeated by a margin of nearly 5 lakh votes by BJP's Raj Kumar Cheher. Odisha Pradesh, in fact, Congress Committee President Niranjan Patnayak has also offered his resignation. Congress has won only one Lok Sabha seat and nine assembly seats in eastern state. It's been 24 hours since the counting of votes in Lok Sabha elections concluded. Now these are the final results. In fact, the latest is that the cabinet has passed a resolution dissolve the 16th Lok Sabha. Prime Minister Modi went to the Rashtrapati Bhavan to meet President Ramnath Kovind. And after the mega win, the first stop of Narendra Modi and Amit Shah paid a visit to two BJP veterans. Both leaders visited LK Advani and Murli Manohar Joshi. In fact, just after the meeting, uh, a tweet was put out by the Prime Minister. He said that, uh, the first one said that it was for LK Advani. It said, called on respected Advani ji. BJP successes today are possible because greats like him spent decades building the party and providing a fresh ideological narrative to the people. A Prime Minister Modi sought uh, the blessings from uh, Murli Manohar Joshi, both veterans uh, were not given tickets by the BJP this time. Uh, several reports claim that both leaders were upset with the decision, but they displayed no bitterness during the interactions. So what happens next? Prime Minister Modi will once again meet the president to stay claimed and form the government. But before that happens, a meeting of the BJP Parliamentary Party will be called. Here MPs will elect uh, Narendra Modi once again as their leader. Election Commission will present a list of newly elected MPs to the President. He will then officially, ex in fact, extend an invitation to the BJP to form a government. Now, most probably, uh, Narendra Modi will take oath of office on the 30th of May. Before that, he will travel to Gujarat and Varanasi next week. The loss of four Congress is a bitter pill to swallow at a time when Rahul Gandhi's own political future is uncertain. Some senior leaders have already sent their resignations from party posts, but Congress could face more setbacks. Karnataka government is in trouble. There are serious apprehensions that the state government will survive Congress, uh, in fact, uh, JDS Alliance managed to secure just two seats in Karnataka. There are reports that the BJP in Karnataka could try and poach some Congress and JDS MLAs. 
Now, former state minister, in fact, uh, Chief Minister Sudaramaiah has tried to put on a brave face. He claimed that the parliamentary elections will not affect their coalition with the JDS.